What's up guys, it's Osas from Samsung Galaxy S3 Soft Monitor, and today I'm going to be showing you how to get the iOS 7 style launcher and unlock screen for your Samsung Galaxy S3. So it's um, by Aspire Studio, they've done a whole bunch of iOS replicas and whatnot, and they have their own launchers, and um, I've actually covered them before, so you can check out a couple of those articles in the full tutorial. But um, for this, we're just going to um, search for Aspire Launcher iOS 7 in the... Play Store. We're going to install that. Hit accept. And um, once it installs, it's actually going to, you might want to wait, I don't know, five or ten seconds, and it's going to ask for verification just to make sure that you actually installed this from the Play Store, not from some crack or different um, website, which they don't want because they want to make sure that you're getting their stuff from where they want you to get it from. So I'm just going to ask you for the genuine valid validation. We're going to hit OK because we have downloaded it from the correct place. Wait a couple more seconds. It'll say whether or not it's validated. There you go. It says valid license. We hit OK. And as you can see, everything is iOS 7 style. I don't have my app list anymore because they're all spread out over my different pages. Um, the icons have changed, you have the color backgrounds, which is standard on the iOS 7. You can see email right there, it looks exactly like it would on iOS 7. Now, for the lock screen, we're going to go here, or you can go to the Play Store and download it yourself, but we're going to go here. Actually, sorry, you are going to go to the Play Store. And we're going to search for, oh, and for this, you're going to want to hit Always for um, this Spire Launcher. Just because every time you hit the home screen it's going to ask you for this and it's just easier like that. Just hit always. You can obviously change it right there in the settings, application manager, all. You scroll all the way to a Spire Launcher then you just clear default. Um, so we're going to go back into the Play Store which you're going to have to search for now which is right here and then we're going to search for Aspire screen locker perfect and then you're obviously going to want to get the iOS 7 which is right here tap that hit install it would be cool if these actually came together but they don't for some reason I mean it takes two seconds to install and once it's installed we're gonna it's gonna do the same thing ask for validation wait a couple seconds it'll say it's valid hit OK open it up and it'll take you right here and here is where you can obviously enable it um, and then if you want to disable if you have another lock screen you can disable it right here it'll take you right to the lock screen and then you just want to hit none you can obviously go to settings lock screen and disable it from there as well so now it is enabled and the first thing you want to do most likely is set up a passcode so you just turn that on just like you would on an iOS device and just make up a passcode Done. So, go back. Uh, you can also add a camera icon if you want the camera to appear. So I'll do that. And what's also cool, instead of having the slide to unlock, you can change it. Change the text to slide to whatever. Something creative. I'm, my creative juices aren't flowing right now. But something cool like that. You can also change the device name and the operator name so if you're a hater of AT&T you can just put Verizon if you really want to and that's a, that's actually pretty much the the only things you can customize if you do upgrade to the full version you can see right there you can change the backgrounds um, you'll actually have the lock screen sounds that are on iOS 7 and other things but the free version is perfectly adequate so let's just test it out hit always again okay we're going to lock our phone, and there you have it. This is the iOS 7 style lock screen. Slide to reveal. Here's my camera, which I could tap, but um, slide it, enter in the passcode, and there you go. That is iOS 7 home launcher and lock screen. So make sure to check that out and check out for more information at the full tutorial on Samsung Galaxy S3 Softmodder, and make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Thanks, guys.